again, first off, welcome back, and, and, and we're so excited that it's November and uh, we're able to play basketball again. And, and again, first home game, all the distractions and uh, atmosphere of that for our players, and, uh, and I love it. I love being home and, and what I think this group's going to be. Um, uh, again, I, I thought there were some moments of really good basketball, and uh, again, even as poorly as we shot it, I, I thought we got the shots we needed to, and, and you know, and so now we just got to knock those down. And uh, I thought, you know, a little nerves and jitters, and being home, and you know, and some of that stuff. I, I think that we'll we'll work through. But our defense, I thought, sustained us, and you know, and I, I really think this group's got a chance to be a really, really good defensive team, and um, and we were able to play a few more players and. Uh, and so hopefully you can see what, what we're going to be able to do. But, but overall, I was um, uh, obviously happy to get the win and, and see growth. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Coach, now, I mean, you mentioned the, the trouble with the shooting, specifically from yeah. the three-point line. Yeah. That's about 23%. But still, you know, you look at an 18-point victory, usually yeah. you don't shoot 23% <laughs> from three. So what was really going um, right for you guys and making up for, you know, at least the struggles at that point? Yeah, well, uh, I, I think that, you know, again, I, I thought we did a great job of, of getting really good looks. And, you know, and again, with that, that, you know, now the things that I think AB was uh, really shot and, you know, she was just relentless going in transition and, you know, just some one-on-one -on -one plays that she was able to get. And, and But again, so much of what we're having to do this year is think of the next pass, the next uh, to create great open shots. and. Even as, as poorly as we shot it from three, we were able to get some O boards and had 17 O boards that really helped us generate some more offense and, and stuff from there. Um, so, Kate, I mean, defensively, especially in that first half, um, eight rebounds, four blocks, two steals. A couple um, of nasty blocks, yeah. too. Very <laughs> good ones. Really a big, a big reason why um, you guys were able to take that 10 point lead at the half. So, I mean, what, what were you doing right today, I guess, to <laughs> speak in your performance? Um. I was just there on the help side, you know. Um, the my goal is to not to stop them from scoring. You know, if I see my teammate get beat, I'm gonna be there. Um, I'm just lucky enough to be able to like time the ball and block it. But um, other than that, you know, I just my goal is to be there and beat the offensive person. If my defense, if my teammate is being beat, I'm supposed to get there and defend the ball. So that's what I did, and you know, I happened to get some blocks with that, so that was good. I think to two's growth this uh, spring. And uh, Summer has been really, really good. And, you know, just her patience. Um, and, uh, again, I think two's best basketball is still ahead of her. But she really, uh, every time I looked up, she was in help side, forcing their, them to take some bad shots and her contesting shots. And, and it really, uh, I think, again, in all of that defensive rotations with her and A.B. And, uh, and then Shanice taking three or four charges, that those plays change the game. Is that those charges and blocks and being able to be there really help us be able to come out with a great win tonight? Uh, Amber, now um, obviously you shot you know pretty well, six for six for nine, fifth led the team in points. So what was working for you offensively? Um, I don't really try to do too much offensively, but if I get going on the defense again, I kind of just take what the defense gives me. If my teammate kind of, if they pass me the ball, obviously they seem not how to look. And most of my pass came from two, so at that point, she tell me like I got an advantage or something. But just being patient when I catch it and turn around seeing what I got. Not trying to force nothing. Just let me come. Yeah, we always talk about stat fillers, and you look across AB's line today, and it's there's something in everything. You know, is that that tells how active she is and um, just what a valuable part of our team. I, I think there was that stand where they had made a run and, you know, cut it, and AB changed our whole everything uh, you know is that she defensively went and locked up and then uh, scored on the other end and just was relentless and um, that's where we've changed so much as a basketball team of of that mentality Lance for you when you see the offense maybe moving a little bit slower just maybe frustrating how do you turn to the defense to lead that offense back into that momentum yeah well that's what we talked about before the game too is that um, again we have to be a team that defends and rebounds no matter what our offense is doing. And uh, again, I think we've got a chance to be a good offensive team. Uh, we're still figuring each other out and offense usually takes a little bit longer, but um, we have to be a team that's just relentless uh, on the defensive end and, and dominant. And I think we have great length. 
uh, and you know, and great athleticism. And now we have to be in great position and be disciplined in that. But but our defense has a chance to be really really good. AB, as a leader of this team, how did you maybe notice the offense start to turn up as the defense continued to turn up? Um, it's kind of what I preach all the time. Like Coach said at the beginning, he said we defend and we rebound. But when I know, I noticed like the lower where they went on the run, we had a few like empty possessions. So I kind of like just pulling us together and letting them know, let's get a stop and a score. That's what coach, that's what we practice though. Stop, score. If we don't get the score, just get another stop. Just chip away at it. But more you put a defense on a team, the more like the offense is going to come. The shot's going to fall. Don't worry about it. Lance, at times you had a quick hook if a couple of bad plays maybe were stretched together. Just how important was it to maybe match maybe some people getting first-time looks this season versus just saying, hey, if you can't perform to the expectation, there's that next person ready to go? Yeah, that's been our biggest difference is uh, if our practices are the most competitive they've ever been since I've been here. And it's 1 through 14 can really, on any given day, move into that group. And, and again, we're challenging uh, our top eight to really bring that consistency every day and uh, but it is if you don't bring it then somebody's going to step into your shoes and uh, and so that's been a good uh, friction and good uh, competition and then now we got to put out that all together is that now whenever we go and we're facing George Mason to um, uh, the next opponent Bryant to whoever that is now it's us against them and, and how we shift that quicker. Uh, go ahead Logan. Uh, speaking of your next opponent um, you know, as I was looking at the article, I just thought they won by almost 100 points tonight. Oh. Uh, 111 to, I think it was 29. I mean, it was against the D3 school, but yeah. obviously they shot pretty well. So right, is it, yeah. Is it, is it, is I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah. So <laughs> is, is it at least, uh, how, you know, going up against a team that, you know, has that hot hand, yeah. um, you guys just played a great game defensively. Yeah. Does that make you feel, you know, a little bit more confident heading into a game like that? Yeah, yeah. no, and, and again, every game poses a different challenge, and this one, again, will be at 11 o'clock, and we need everybody, every school kid get out of work whatever we can do to really bring a great atmosphere here um, uh, to that game but uh, again I feel really good about our uh, ability to defend people and you know and now uh, we'll go in and after this look at you know what we're gonna have to do defensively to stop that and and then we've got to put points together on the offensive end and really execute better and uh, and again we've got to get post touches that's you know we're much better whenever we can play inside out as opposed to just playing outside and you know trying to make plays and stuff from there. But but uh, again, I thought our ball movement was pretty good, and uh, now it's tempo and, and really playing inside out. At this point, when you prepare for an opponent like that, especially when you know it, it was again, it was against the D three team, but yeah. still a big big so That's a huge point. Yeah. <laughs> you got to um, still put it in basket. Yeah. <laughs> at a point at this point in the season, it's still more about what you guys can do yeah. as opposed to um, worrying about what they can do. Uh, absolutely. You know, this time we're still trying to figure out who we are, and you know, and and we're coming closer and closer with every game and every practice. You really learn to define what you can do well and and who can do that at the at the highest level but so much of these early games whenever there's not a lot of film and now we'll get one or two games but it, it's still about us so what are we going to be about and who are we and, and really that's going to be all year long is that we're a team that we have to be consistent in who we are and and make people adjust and change to us two you've met we've talked in practice about just whether you're blue squad white squad just finding each other out and just finding each other's strengths just from the ground level what's it been like finding your teammates out and finding those combinations and finding some answers um i mean it's it's, it's all a discovery you know what i'm saying like certain people are good at certain things uh, and it's just being able to play with or oh, being on both sides i've been able to understand other people's strengths and weaknesses um and i think that's that's been beneficial for me at least um going into the game because again like you never know who he's going to throw out there and just being able to understand all my teammates' uh, strengths and weaknesses has been uh, beneficial for me and I believe for the team as well. Lance, before the season we talked about Malia's discovery, which has led her to the starting lineup. Just what have you noticed about her journey that's given her the nod these first two games? Yeah, you know, again, she's such a, a great athlete and has great length and power. And, you know, and I keep telling her, you know, as soon as she takes that next jump in her confidence level, um, you know, the sky's the limit for her, is that, you know, you can still see it, we moved her from a post to a guard last year. And so at times she still gets a little hesitant 
where then there's moments whenever she went and attacked the rim and made the three, you know, and like all of those really big time plays and using her left hand to make a post entry. And so there's those little moments that as soon as she puts it all together, she's got a chance to be a really, really good player. And uh, But again, just on both ends of the ball and her ability to rebound, I think she had what, eight boards or something tonight. And just, it changes you against ACC type teams is that she's a big, strong guard that can really do great things from, from that position. Anything else, guys? Good. Good.